Let's recap the top three things to know about Gen AI on Android at Google I.O. in 90 seconds. Number one, use Google AI Studio to design prompts and build with Google's latest Gemini models, such as 1.5 Pro and 1.5 Flash with 1 million token context windows via the Gemini API. Also, Gemini 1.5 Pro is available with a 2 million token context window via waitlist. Integrate the Gemini API with Google AI SDK for experimentation and the Vertex AI for a Firebase SDK now in public preview for production. Number two, Gemini Nano, our recommended model for on-device Gen AI, will gain multimodal capabilities later this year, starting with Pixel. It's supported by AI Core, a system service enabling apps to run inference on device without maintaining their own models. Apps like Messages, Recorder, Patreon, Grammarly, and Adobe are already leveraging or experimenting with Gemini Nano, with more coming soon. Adobe's use case is particularly interesting as they look to combine on-device and server-based Gen AI to power an AI assistant in Acrobat for one-click summaries and document interaction. Number three, Gemini and Android Studio, now available in over 200 countries and territories, is your AI-powered coding companion. Android Studio Koala Preview includes new features like code suggestions and app quality insights. Later this year, Gemini 1.5 Pro will enable multimodal input, enabling Gemini and Android Studio to help you build fully functional composed UIs from wireframe sketches. That's Gen AI on Android. Check out the full playlist on YouTube in the description to learn more.